This video will be a quick overview of the new theme called News Magazine X by WP Royal. I have already installed the theme, but as you can see it's almost blank right now because I don't have any content like posts for example. So I'm going to import some dummy data, go back to the site and refresh the page just to see how it looks like by default without any customization. To start editing the theme we need to click on customize. Before we start customization process I'd like to get rid of the default content because I'd like to show you how to achieve something like this. And to do so let's go to front page and enable hide blogging static page and now we are good to go. We can see that page includes some sections and sections contain widget areas. And these widget areas are the same which we can find in WordPress dashboard. So let's go back to the site and in first sections widget area click on manage content widget and from here we can add some actual widgets. News Magazine X comes with pre-built widgets so let's try something like grid layout and as we can see it adds some posts with a certain grid layout. From here we can change some settings like widget title, some query parameters as well as the actual layout. Let me add a new widget. This time let's go for category list. And from the layout we can choose the default or select the secondary style. But keep in mind that ProVersion comes with a lot more styles that we can choose from. Let's go back to the front page sections to add another section. This time choose Widget Area 2 and select Layout with a sidebar. Because in our demo site we have a section with sidebar layout. Click on Manage Content Widgets and add some content like List Layout for example. It adds some posts with a different layout and we can change some settings like title and others. But for now let me add another list layout. But this time let's choose the two column grid to make it different from the previous one. And for the sidebar section we can add some social media icons. And in settings activate the use original colors option. Add another block, this time featured news with tabs and we are done with the sidebar. Click on publish to save the changes and go back to the front page sections. Let's make a quick overview of what we've done so far. On the front page we have added two sections. First section contains grid layout and category list. And for the second section we have added widget area 2 with a sidebar layout, where we've added news list with two different layouts and in sidebar we've added some social media icons and featured news with tapped buttons. It's time to take care of the header and footer for our page. So let's start with the header, which consists of three different sections, top section, middle section and bottom section. We can edit any of them, so let's go to middle section where we already have a few elements. We can add elements or delete them. To add a new element just click here and we can choose from wide variety of elements. Let's skip the date and time for now. We can set the position to left, center or right or manually drag and drop the elements above or below each other. We can add as many elements as we want. This time let's go for social media icons and we can add menu element as well to get the same kind of menu which we have on the original demo site. Let's update the changes and finally see how to customize the site footer. Go back to customizer options and click on footer. Just like the header footer has three sections as well top, middle and bottom, but right now only bottom section is active. So let's go to middle section and enable it. It comes with four widget areas. 
Let's click on first one where we can select elements like site logo, for example. Edit options to select image from media library. And now footer displays the site logo. Let's go back again and enable the footer top section as well. It displays some social media icons by default, but we can add more elements from this list. Click on Publish to save changes, because I'd like to show you one more setting in Customizer Area, which is a global setting where we can edit things like site accent color, typography, or enable custom category colors and set different color for each category. Please keep in mind that to edit sections and or widget areas, we don't have to necessarily use the customizer navigation, but we can always click on this edit icon and it will automatically display corresponding settings and options. This was a quick overview of News Magazine X brand new theme and its customization options. If you have any questions, please contact the WP Royal support team. You can contact us at any time you need. Consider upgrading to the Pro version as it comes with a lot more options and features. If you want to test the Pro version, you can always go to this URL. Link will be in the description and click on Try Pro version, which will open the demo site with Pro version already installed, where you can test all the included features. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.